Welcome to section 10.7, Interpret the Discriminant. The first thing we have to do is to find out what the discriminant is. So here, I hope this formula looks familiar. It is the quadratic formula, just another way to solve quadratic equations. Well, the discriminant in this guy is just this red piece right here, b squared minus 4ac. So the discriminant is from the quadratic expression or the quadratic formula, b squared minus 4ac. What is it used for? It determines the number of solutions of a quadratic equation, and it also gives you the number of x-intercepts, which is also the solutions. So, again, discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. If it is a positive value, you will have two real answers. If it gives you zero, you will have one real answer, or one real solution, and if it is negative value, you will have zero solutions right now. It will change a little bit once you get to algebra two. So let's go ahead and look at some graphs. So all these are the discriminants of ax squared plus bx plus c, just the general form of a quadratic equation. If the discriminant is greater than zero. This is a discriminant. If it's greater than zero, the graph will look something like this. How many roots do you have? How many solutions do you have? You have one, you have two. So we should have two solutions. If the discriminant equals zero, our graph should look something like this. Just in general form, it will look something like this. How many times does it go through the x-axis? Just once right there. So we only have one solution. Next, if it is less than zero, the discriminant is less than zero. Graph will look something like this. How many times does our graph touch the x-axis? It doesn't at all. So we have no or we have no solutions, we have none. Now, let's try it out. Let's see how many solutions these equations have. We're gonna start with number one, 2x squared plus 6x plus four. Remember our discriminant is just b squared minus 4ac. So I have a a, a b, and a c. I'm just gonna plug them in to b squared minus 4ac. So here we go, I have 6 squared minus 4 times 2 times 4. That simplifies to 36 minus 16, which gives us 20. 20 is a positive answer from before. A positive answer will give us two solutions. Let's go on to the next one. 3x squared plus 7x equals 2x. It is not quite in a quadratic equation or the standard form of a quadratic equation. So we have to set it up like that. Let's get that 2x to the other side. So we subtract 2x from the right side and put it on the left. And so now we can write it in standard form. 3x squared minus 2x plus 7 equals zero. We have an a, a b, and a c, plugging it into the discriminant. So we have b squared, which is negative two squared minus four times three times seven simplifies. Now remember, negative two squared, it's negative two times negative two, which is a positive four minus, and then this all multiplies to 84 which gives us a negative 80. Now a negative number has no solution. And finally, let's just try one more. For three, we have x squared minus 9x equals zero. Let's start by finding a, b, and c. a is one because there is an implied one, or there's just one x squared, so there's one. b is negative 9 and c is do we have a c we do not have a c how do we represent that in math just with a zero so let's plug them into our discriminant we have negative 9 squared minus 4 times a times c and so we have negative 9 squared which is 81 then this is just minus 0 
and so it equals 81. We have a positive answer for our discriminant. So with our discriminant being positive, we have two solutions. And that does it for section 10.7. Have a great rest of your day.